There's no time like the present to enjoy life and spend time with the people you love. So to help to get the party started, we're at the house showing you easy ways to throw a healthy and sustainable soiree, Mexican style. Come on, babe. You're talking about a fiesta. Well, from a delicious vegan gluten-free meal filled with some of our favorite party foods and a classic Mexican dessert with a raw vegan twist to fresh ideas for eco-chic entertaining and sprucing up your pad for guests, it's fiesta time right here on Conscious Living. Okay, babe. So what I need you to do is I need you to put, uh, get this heat going. They got a little bit of olive oil here. Right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a sweet potato black bean quesadilla. Ooh, yum, yum. So uh, Mrs. Lady here is my uh, special friend and prep chef. Sous chef. And so I need you to get that going, get the onions going, okay? okay. And so what we've got here is we've got some onions and uh, go ahead and drop the onions in. Okay. And then to that, once you get a nice uh, translucent experience, then I want you to add the black beans to it, okay? And so for this ingredient, so for this recipe, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna make it protein rich, because mm -hmm. we know people like it. Um, and we're also gonna make it tasty and delicious. Now, quesadilla, that's how I got you the first time. She loved my quesadillas. Was that how you got me? One of the, one okay. of the, I mean, it was, it was a series, it was a process, <laughs> right? It was a series of tests and, uh, you know, it was a triathlon. And ongoing challenges. Yes, it is, on a daily basis. <laughs> Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so, um, but in the meantime, yes. um, now that we've gone vegan, obviously we can't do, uh, we can't do cheese anymore. So, fortunately, this is a great time to be vegan. It's a great time to be plant-based. There's some great... Uh, options, vegan options. We've got two cheeses here. We've got one by Daya that's a shredded pepper jack that's got a nice uh, nice blend for our quesadilla. And then we have a chow cheese, uh, and that's your favorite. My personal favorite. It's made out of coconut milk, and it's made out of uh, basically fermented soy, uh, and it's got some different herbs and spices. It was originally created in the Philippines, of all places. Shout out to my Filipino friends. And, um, and, then, uh, and then we're gonna add that to our little mix. So, you're, you're getting that going. Yeah, I think I need okay. a little more heat. I think you need a little more heat. Go ahead and put it up all the way. Okay, dude. all the way. Let's do okay. it. Okay, let's get it up. Okay, so next I'm going to get started on the sweet potatoes. So we'll give the sweet potatoes a rough chop. And then we're going to pop those in uh, boiling water. Salt. Make sure you salt the boiling water. Okay, let them cook till, uh, till they're mostly firm. And then what we're going to do is grab our sweet potatoes and we're just going to add a couple things. So this is going to, again, we want to add the flavor. The sweet potato is nice because it gives us sabor. The sabor, and it's also rich in iron and very filling. As well, mm -hmm. yes. Let's get them mashed. Okay. This quesadilla going, my wow. man. You, you give me orders. I'm about it, about it. Yes, you are. <laughs> like, uh, what is it? Uh, la cocina que canta. <laughs> la the cocina kitchen that sings. The kitchen that sings. That's okay. right. And talks back as well. And talks back. Yes. <laughs> and talks smack as well. Okay. So we got our spice blend. <laughs> so this is just like some uh, chili powder. This is some cumin. This is of course some salt and pepper. And we're just going to add this to our sweet potatoes. Okay. I'm sizzling over here. That's good. You want to keep it going, and you want to make sure it do doesn't burn. Okay. So uh, Ooh, it get down. it translucent. Okay. Okay. You got about another minute or so. And then to this, we're gonna add our cilantro. Okay, so we're gonna add some cilantro since this is a quesadilla. That looks good. It smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll just mash this up, okay? So mash away. I'm feeling the onions. You're feeling it, it smells yeah. good, right? Yes. We're getting, starting to get a little bit of that caramelization, so go ahead and drop the beans in. Okay. And while you do that, I'm gonna cook the poblano peppers, and we're just gonna fire them up right on the stove itself and we get a nice char on them, and, uh, and that's gonna add some really nice textures and flavors to our beans. We're just gonna start cooking them on here and get a nice blister to them, okay? Once we get them fired up, then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, let them cool down and then we'll peel them, okay? And then we'll add that to our, our onions um, and our black, uh, our black beans. So now we have our poblano peppers, we pulled off the uh, most of the char, and we're going to grab our knife, and we're going to give these a rough chop, and they're going to be, since they're already cooked, 
and we're going to pull out the, uh, the core and the seeds. I'm sure there's a more elegant uh, way to do this, but you know. Get it done. Get it done. <laughs> Get her done. Get it in. <laughs> Why don't you hit that with a little bit of salt? Okay. Dear. Here goes the salt. Get that up. All right. I like having you in here with me. I like being in here with you. As long it's, as I follow directions, right? Yes. <laughs> well, that's how I got to uh, be here. She was making something for me in the beginning. <laughs> Trying. It was like sausage and onion or something. I was like, oh, what if you added this, that, and the other thing? No, you were like, no, you need to add this, that. And, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I think you're a little bit more excited about this than I am. Guess what you get to do for the next lifetime? Yes. And here we are. <laughs> Three meals a day. It's all yours. Many, many moons later. <laughs> okay. So these poblanos we're giving a nice rough chop to. And then we're going to add these to our beans. How's that looking? It looks great. I'm just going to drop these in for you. All right. Go ahead and mix those in. Mmm, smells good. So now this is going to be real simple. So all we're going to do is we're going to get our tortilla going. We got about, about a, probably a medium heat or so. Keep stirring? Uh, keep stirring, dear. And then I think you're about done. All right. That okay. was quick. That was quick. And then we're going to sprinkle on some cheese. Cheese. That's your favorite cheese. This is my favorite cheese. So this is the Daya cheese. Loves Daya. It melts really well. So then <laughs> to this, we're going to add our little mixture. And we're just going to put it over here. Nice. Okay. That cheese is going to melt down, right? Yes, that's what we want. All right. That's a good thing about diet. It melts really nicely. It melts just like really nicely. Cheese. Yeah. Mm. And what I want you to do is grab a spoon and then spoon some of that on there. Okay. Okay. Spoon some of that. That's a baby spoon, dear. It's a baby spoon, but it's getting it done. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to add a little more cheese to this. Mm, more cheese on top. Nice. Okay. To be nice and gooey. That's our heat. A little more. Okay, we're gonna heat it up a little bit. Okay. All right. And then we'll add our top to it. Nice. It's gonna be a really thick. And then we're gonna cover it. And the covering allows the cheese to uh, melt a little bit easier. And then we're just gonna let it sit for uh, about three minutes aside, three to four minutes aside. Okay, so now let's take a look, see what we have here. Ooh, look at that cheese all oh, melting. It smells delicious. It looks yep. good. All right, you ready? Yep. No, we're gonna flip it first. Ah, I'm gonna flip Remember? it first. Ah, okay, not bad. Beautiful, nice. Look at that golden brown nice. color. Crispy. Perfect color. Yeah. The cheese is melting. Cheese with a Z. Cheese. And uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> cover that up, give it another uh, three minutes. Okay. And then we'll be ready to, uh, to chow down. Yeah. So here we go. Booyah. Nice. Perfection. All right, nice. so I guess we have to let that cool before we dig in, right? Yes, we gotta let and that cool. And we gotta cool. wait for the guests, too. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. Speaking of which, ah. isn't it time for you to uh, see what's it up? It is, it is. Well, you know, you can't have a party without taking care of the guests. So we're gonna have one of my good friends, Tatiana Acuna, who's gonna show us how to entertain with a eco-chic flavor. What do you think? I think it's good. And then I'll go get ready for the party. That's great. Okay. Can't wait to try Michael's cooking. Yes. Hi, come on hey. in. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. Wow. Yeah. Look at these beautiful flowers. flowers. Thank you. I can't wait to smell them. So what we have here is some vegan sour cream. Now, believe it or not, they do make vegan sour cream. It's actually pretty good. Um, and so what we're going to do is just drop that on the top of our uh, quesadilla, that golden, delicious quesadilla. And we're going to squeeze it. Some nice quesadilla. Pizza cutters are always in handy when you have a nice, juicy quesadilla. Okay. So we can't have a party without guacamole, right? Everybody loves guacamole. So this is my favorite guacamole recipe. It's easy, it's simple. I love avocados. Avocados are great. They have that, that good fat, okay? A lot of times when people switch to a plant-based diet, they wonder, will I be full? Well, part of being full is fiber. Fiber is what makes you feel full and you get, full and you get fiber from veggies. You don't get fiber from meat, okay? There's no fiber in chicken. So, but 
Guacamole is good and avocados are good because avocados give you those good fats, okay? And the good fats satisfy you, they make you feel uh, tasty and delicious, okay? And on the inside and on the outside. Okay, so we've got our avocado. Pop out our, uh, our little friend here. These are ripe avocados. You always want to try and use ripe avocados. Okay, so now we're going to add our cilantro. Okay, just give it a nice quick rough chop. About a half a cup. So we've got our jalapeno. And we're just going to give this a nice little rough chop. So we're going to add one full red onion. And I love the red onions. They add such a nice uh, element to the ingredients. Next up is we're going to chop a little garlic for this guac. And I really like garlic in, in my guacamole. Okay, now we got to get our tomatoes going. And uh, we want to make sure we use organic tomatoes. Okay, because they taste so much better. We're cooking without meat, we're cooking without dairy, and so people, a lot of times, they, they, they expect it to be plain or nasty, or like, you know, like, how would a, a piece of, um, you know, burlap taste? It would be nasty. But so we need to brighten the food, we need to infuse the food with energy, we need to understand that our nutrients, we're getting all of our nutrients, okay? Because we're dealing with whole food, this whole food plant-based diet, that's where it's at. Okay, that's where the magic happens. That's where the magic happens in your body, where the weight loss, the inflammation goes away. All of those things happen when we get rid of the meat and we get rid of the dairy, okay? We've got uh, our spice blend, and our spice blend is just cumin. We've got some cayenne in there. We've got some sea salt, uh, and we're just going to drop that into our avocados, okay? And we love avocados, right? Yes, we do. Then we're going to add some lime to it, okay? Uh, a full lime, just go ahead and squeeze that in there. And then before we uh, add our other ingredients, we're going to just give this a rough chop, a rough chop with our, uh, with our fork. Okay. And let's get that mix. See, it's already coming together real nice. So now let's add our tomatoes. Okay, we got a couple cups of tomatoes in there and we're going to add our red onions okay about a half cup or so okay let's get that moving mm. okay and then we're going to add our uh, our garlic and our jalapeno okay we got a garlic and jalapeno mix it up together real nice and then last but not least we'll add a few more tomatoes with our cilantro okay Put cilantro in there all right super easy right okay all right so now we've got our guac here looking good let's give it a quick taste see how we're doing okay got that nice chip Mmm. Wow. That's really good. It's like a symphony of flavors. It just pops in your mouth. I'm going to add a little more salt to it, and we're going to be good to go. Okay? So up next, let's go to our pico de gallo. Okay, so now we're getting our pico de gallo going. It's a great salsa. Uh, it's delicious. It's fresh. And best of all, it's super quick and super easy. Okay? So we chop our tomatoes. We chop our onions. We've got our jalapenos. We've got our cilantro, and now all we gotta do is just blend them up, okay? So we've got our tomatoes here. Okay, dump those in. About half of these, uh, about a half a red onion. And then we've got our uh, cilantro and jalapeno pepper mix. Okay, we're gonna hit it up with a little salt. And then, just chop up a little lime, and again, lime is really gonna make the, the flavors pop, okay? Another lime here. Just 
Give it a nice mix. Grab a chip and see, uh, see what we got here. Mmm. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. Pico de Gallo. So here we are, summer entertaining, the weather's warm, and the table is beautiful. What are some tips that people should think about when they're hosting parties? Well, you know, one of the things you want to think, especially when you're going to throw a nice fiesta, is let's think bold colors. Mm. Let's focus a little bit on the table runner right here. It's a nice, bold green color. Yeah, I love it. it yeah, it's by a greener kitchen. It's all organic cotton, so you can mm. tell it's really nice and soft. And organic cotton is so much softer than it regular is. cotton. No pesticides. No feels pesticides. good against the skin. No toxins. Healthy. Love it. Yeah, and going <laughs> again with like the bold colors, mm -hmm. Get fresh flowers. Mm. If you have nice, beautiful flowers oh. in your garden, please do collect them. Oh. That's what they're for. Amazing. These are yeah. beautiful. I love how the colors pop and very complimentary. Yeah, and they also <laughs> smell great. And talking about scents, we also have these great object for purpose candles. They're mm. made with non-GMO coconut oil. Ooh, so yum. we encourage people to put it on. It's actually very oh, good for your skin. So like dip, make a little natural yeah. perfume. What the oh, right? God. Heavenly, amazing. heavenly. Nice. You know, I hate the, the candles that like emit all of the soot, you know, and breathing them. I mean, we're outdoors you now. You don't but see black smoke. Yet. Yeah, you take those yeah. inside. Not good for the health. So I love that. And they smell wonderful. Mm, nice ambiance. So yeah. what else? Another great tip is get rid of the disposable stuff. You know, invest in your great linens that mm. you're going to use over and over again. Your guests are going to love and know you for it. Yeah. Like these, again, a greener kitchen napkins. They are made of organic cotton, so they're mm. so soft. Oh, they're beautiful. I love this print. Very cool. Yes, it's very festive, very yeah. Mexican fiesta. Yes, and it really picks up the beautiful greenery. This environment at the house oh, is just is lovely. Cool you really complimented everything nicely. Another thing, also coasters. Mm -hmm. These um, Divine and Y coasters are just mm. gorgeous too. They're handmade, which kind of adds that little detail to it yes, as well. Yes, I love these. These are great. Very memorable. And what about these goblets? These are oh, something. Yeah, oh, they're rainbow colors. They're mouth blown, and so it is all artisanal. It's very beautiful. Wow. And it's even made in Mexico as well, which oh. kind of goes with the whole Mexican theme. I know. Theme we are well. loving the Mexican theme yeah. today. <laughs> so, what else? Another great conversational piece is this melted wine bottle. Mm. And it's great because you cannot have a fiesta without chips <laughs> and guac, you know? Yes. It's I think I'm going to have a little right oh, now. Oh, go for it. <laughs> Get it started. Help yourself, oh, too. Mmm, that is delicious. Thank Michael. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Michael. <laughs> okay, so what else do we have? You want to get your guests talking. Mm -hmm. You want them to have a fun you know, icebreaker. Mm -hmm. And these milk and honey luxury spoons are just amazing. My favorite one is actually right here. And it says Te Amo. Which Te Amo. You know Spanish. I what love does you. that mean? Yeah. How cool is it to eat a dish with a spoon that says I love you? It's like putting the love right inside. Exactly. Very nice, very nice. And there's several little other yeah. statements. There's eat more plants, food is fuel. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> no, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> love it. Cool. I think the guests are going to love this one. And you're one of them. You think you yeah. might want to stay for the party? Definitely. All right, all right. And well, you know what? I feel like the party is getting started. Yeah. So our last and most important tip yep. is probably set a good music and yes. ambiance. Yes. And what better way than with a Bluetooth speaker mm. outside so people can, you mm. know, get the party started. What's this made of? Is this bamboo? Yes. And oh, I actually, love it. And the fabric here is made from hemp. So it's all around eco-friendly. Wow. Super eco-friendly. Super like high and low and feels exactly. kind of like historic and ancient, but very fresh and very modern. Love and it. The Get last music going. tip is actually make your guests comfortable. Get mm -hmm. great pillows, mm -hmm. and we love our coochie coo pillows, which have the most fun images. These are in it. so bizarre, but they're like instant icebreakers because <laughs> you know you can't really figure out what's happening here. I mean, this guy over here. <laughs> He's, he's got calling. a turban on and he's on the phone with a pink flamingo. I mean, if that doesn't break the ice, I don't know what will. <laughs> well, Tatiana, thank you for all these tips. I hope you can stay with us for a little bit of partying, taste some of the food I Michael's been making. I'm definitely going to stay for more for of more that guac. guac and chip. Yes. Let's have some. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> chip cheers. <laughs> chip cheers. <laughs> So while Bianca's getting our table ready and getting things nice and getting us uh, excited for the fiesta, I'm gonna get started with my favorite part, which is dessert. 
So what we're gonna do is two traditional uh, Mexican desserts. The first thing we're gonna do is a traditional flan. Now, if you're like me, you love flan, but what we wanna do is eliminate the dairy, eliminate all that inflammation, all that phlegm you're gonna get five minutes after you eat it. And so we're gonna do it with a nice flan with two secret ingredients. The first is we're gonna use it with uh, cashews. Now, this is a, a raw vegan chef's secret ingredient, cashews. They blend down perfectly. They become super uh, super moist and uh, and really delicious, and they, and they get get to a, to a point where you don't even know it's, it's nuts. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to tap our uh, molecular gastronomy uh, muscles and we're going to use a little agar flakes. Okay, now agar is really interesting. It's a seaweed that's been ground down and it, what it does is when you blend it, we're going to blend it with a little coconut milk, it actually creates that, that delicious, bouncy uh, flan texture that we like. Now the second thing we're going to do is a dolce de leche. Now if you're like me, you love caramel, but obviously vegan, we can't do it, right? Because most caramel is made with milk. So we're gonna do this one also with a coconut milk, and then we're gonna use some brown sugar. So let's get started with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in our, uh, our coconut milk. Okay, we've got a pan going here. Oh yeah. And we're gonna add our sugar. And we're gonna add a little uh, hint of salt, okay? And then let's get blending. Okay, now the key thing here that we wanna do is we wanna make sure we break it up. Uh, so we need to keep an eye on this. And we're just gonna get the, uh, the sugar melted and we're looking for bubbles. And when it stops bubbling, you're done, okay? Okay, we're gonna uh, stir it occasionally for about 20 minutes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our nuts to our blender, okay? Then we've got some coconut milk. And we've got some vanilla, vanilla extract, okay? This is a really simple recipe. We've got some lemon, and the lemon's really gonna pop up those flavors, okay? and then some uh, maple syrup. My Dolce de Leche is talking to me. It's like, hey, gringo. Don't forget about me. I don't think it calls me gringo. I think we actually have a better relationship than that. But, uh, you know. Okay, so we've got our maple syrup. Okay, now you can use any sweetener of choice if, if you want to. And then the last thing we're going, to, uh, we're going to add is our molasses, okay? Well, there's two more things. We've got to add our molasses. And uh, we're just gonna do uh, maybe about a teaspoon of molasses, okay? It's gonna give some nice color and texture. Beauty, all right. And then last but not least, I'm gonna zest some orange, okay? About a half an orange here, orange zest, ideally, Go for uh, organic orange, that goes without saying, so you don't get all those pesticides with it. If not, use a, uh, use a fruit brush and brush out that, uh, that uh, orange, okay? All right, so let's, we're gonna do about a half an orange here. All right. So I think we're good, I think we have the, uh, the zest that we need, the sabor. Bianca may correct me on that. So we're gonna blend this up. We're gonna just give it a nice, nice blend. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. Okay, grind up that salt. All right. Huh? Yes, Beyonce, I can walk and talk at the same time. Now that we've got our flan ingredients in there, what I'm gonna do is just give them a quick taste and make sure that uh, it tastes at the desired sweetness we need. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. That orange pops it. Really sweet, but not overly sweet. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our agar flake, uh, 
flow. Now, the interesting thing about dolce de leche is, you know, we're just basically making candy, but we're stopping short before it gets uh, too solidified, okay? So, uh, for our agar, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a quarter cup of coconut milk. Okay, so we're gonna add to our coconut milk, our agar, we're gonna slowly add that in, okay? And this is gonna quickly liquefy and paste up, okay? So we're gonna add it. Okay, so now our agar flakes are a nice uh, texture. We would just want to drop those into uh, drop those into the blender. Time is of the essence uh, with molecular gastronomy, and so let's just get it moving quickly and remove any lumps. Okay, so now we've got our uh, our blend done. This is the flan. We're gonna just pour this straight into the ramekins. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got our, uh, our flan poured, all we're gonna do is just take it into the uh, fridge and we're gonna let it sit for about an hour in the fridge. Okay, so we're back, did a little cleaning, and, uh, and now is the funnest time because we're gonna pour our dolce de leche, okay? So we've got a nice, look at that beautiful caramel color. Uh, this is gonna be so good, it smells, oh man, it smells so good. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into this glass uh, vessel here. So now we've taken our flan out of the fridge, and look, it's at that beautiful, uh, settled quite nicely. It's got those little air bubbles like a good flan does. And, uh, and then so that we're just gonna top it with our dolce de leche. Now our dolce de leche has this beautiful um, caramelly color and we're just gonna top it off real nice. Uh, if you like it a lot, we can do that, but I think just something like that could be real nice. That's it. Nice. Okay, you get the guac. Let's get your uh, get a little pico on there. Okay, I'm gonna oh, get this these looks chips. So good. I like this. It looks like a like a, a wine bottle had a flat tire or something. <laughs> Got melted. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Nice. This is so cool. <laughs> melted. But you gotta eat quite quesadilla before you have the. Uh, before you have the flan. Yes, dessert yeah. second. Here's some chips okay. <laughs> And thank you for the food, Michael. You're welcome. Yes. And thank my uh, sous chef as well, who is a big help yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> I did my best. She uh, handled it. Okay. All right. I would eat with my fingers, but... Uh, <laughs> You would? Somebody would uh, <laughs> give me the business afterwards. Oh, uh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Robust, we call that. Yum. All right. Well, how about a toast, guys? How about a toast? To good times, all summer long. <laughs> good Cheers. times. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> good times, good friends. All right. Lots of good food. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. And conscious living. Of course. To conscious living, yes. <laughs>